Barry Wenzel's career spans some 30 years photographing rock and roll legends such as the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Who. We caught up with Barry at the Cornwall Regional Art Gallery where his collection is on display. I know you have quite an incredible past as a photographer. I'd love to hear more about it, where it all started out for you. What inspired you to get started? Was there anybody who, uh, or anyone's work that struck you? Uh, as a photographer? Yeah. Well, yeah, I loved, um, I mean, I guess I grew up in that, uh, the late, of, in the early 50s stuff with the uh, Illustrated Magazine article, which came out every monthly and they'd have an article and they'd, it'd be a photojournalistic story. And that's what I learned from the Cartier-Bresson, and the Eugene Smith and uh, Dorothea Lange and uh, uh, the photographers who went out and captured uh, stuff as naturally as possible. And I tried to bring that into what I was doing because uh, I wanted people to feel like they were there in that room or next to this person, although they'd never ever meet, you know, Ray Davis or Jimmy Page or <clears throat> Jimi Hendrix, you know, that we were there chatting to them. Uh, I thought, hey, that's important. We have this specialness and click, Jimmy, uh, that's going to be on the front page of an article. And uh, I wanted to put people in their best light because uh, why would you want to do anything else? You know, it was totally non-paparazzi, you know. It was like dead serious and we went out and found bands. I mean, uh, half in, in the evening we'd go down to the Marquee or various clubs and see people starting out for their, on the first, like Joe Cocker, we saw his first gig in London and went, wow, he's going to be great. And we spoke to the editor, he's got to be on the front page. And eventually the editor, who was great, Ray Coleman, just allowed us to do, like you guys, anything you want. And he put people on the front page where we did articles and people who wouldn't, you never would have thought of. They never had record contracts. They'd only done one gig, but <clears throat> this band, no, Genesis, they're going to be good, you know. Or what's this? Oh, it's the Rolling Stones uh, in 1964 playing for free in a little cellar club in London. So we learned how to pick talent, I guess. And we really loved the music. All the musicians, all the journalists were basically musicians too. So we were... Um, we had a sort of camaraderie, and nobody was really that famous. So, what a time uh, to live in, though. It was, yeah, it was. Uh, it just seemed very normal at the time, you know. Uh, you made your living doing this uh, photography, and no, or how did, did was I that? Did I make a living at it? Uh, or how was money it? wasn't an object, actually. I don't know if we, but we sort of got by somehow, you know. It was, we weren't earning a lot of money, uh, but we were fueled on enthusiasm. We just felt it was a task we had to be there to capture and be a part of. Uh, because we were there in the beginning of many bands that started and helped them. Uh, there was no career ever thought of, you know. It was uh, something, now I get paid for, for the pictures. So 40 years later, I guess, it sort of pays for itself. But as in art, as you know, uh, to get actually paid for what you do at the time is rare. You know, did Van Gogh or, uh, you know, like Picasso or Van Gogh ever get paid in their lifetime? Maybe at the end, Picasso did, but you know, Van Gogh's paintings are going for X million or whatever. I mean, he, he could have done with some of that money in his, in his lifetime, really, you know. What, what could you say you're most proud of? Or... Surviving, I think, you know, when many of my friends and these people aren't uh, on the planet anymore. Uh, maybe because I left the business in 75 and uh, some of my contemporary photographers in New York were saying, and if you'd have stayed, you'd have been dead by now because uh, you couldn't have kept up that lifestyle. It was pretty hectic, you know. It was time to leave the party in 75 and go off and do something completely different. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here now. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed. <laughs> I don't know.